What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about our first look at Modern Warfare 3, some updates on remastered maps, plus even more, definitely stay tuned, but before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also let me know in the comment section, are you guys hyped for a new Call of Duty this fall, or are you hoping for more Modern Warfare 2 DLC, are you hoping that that game does in fact get a second year of support, even though that's likely not going to be the case, what are your thoughts right now on the entire Call of Duty cycle, leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section, I also just got back from COD Champs, it was an amazing weekend over in Vegas, and I'm ready to just get back to work, and get a bunch of content flowing out for you guys here on the channel also just moved into a brand new house so i just moved the entire setup as of yesterday so i'm excited to get back on track and cover everything there is to know about every single game mode here inside of call of duty with that being said while i was away at COD champs though images did leak out of two multiplayer maps coming to what we believe is going to be modern warfare 3 this fall now in the images you can clearly see that it's terminal and scrapyard both of which are maps from modern warfare 2 2009 the first thing to point out though is that the maps are clearly not almaz reports they are not just sections pulled from Warzone 2 whatsoever. They look like they're either faithful remasters or clean 2023 redesigns of those classic maps, not at all pulled from Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 as we know it. The images have also been DMCA claimed, which does mean they're probably real. Now, if anything, you can argue, hey, it's probably smarter if Activision or any other studio don't DMCA claim leaked images because that just confirms that they're real. But at the same time, too, that's, of course, companies protecting their intellectual property. And obviously, those images are probably months away from a reveal whatsoever. So they probably don't want that over on the internet. If you look at how Showdown just got remastered here in Season 4, and how we've also had maps like Dome added into Modern Warfare 2, you can notice how they're very clearly not adding in maps from 2009. They're not adding in classic maps that we all thought would have been in a game called Modern Warfare 2, and that's got to be for a reason, right? I mean, if anything, if you look back at the original rumors that stem back to months ago, if almost a year ago, from someone like the Ghost of Hope who was claiming that a Greatest Hits pack was going to be dropping inside of Modern Warfare 2 at some point, and would cost money, that pack would have came with a lot of, if not all, of the 2009 Modern Warfare 2 maps to now fit inside of the new Modern Warfare 2. And I think at the time, I had made a video saying that I found it very hard to believe they were going to eventually charge for maps again, or charge for a DLC map pack, considering the seasonal structure we've been on for the last couple of years. It just wouldn't have made sense, right? But the thing is, other rumors have suggested that Modern Warfare 3, a game coming out this fall, apparently, was originally going to be a premium DLC for Modern Warfare 2 inside of a supposed year 2. That rumor was talked about quite a bit by Jason Schreier. I know we have people at Bloomberg talking about that and supporting it. Folks over at Insider Gaming were claiming this many, many months ago. So rumors even before that, though, we're talking back during, I think, even Cold War's life cycle or a little bit into Vanguard's, people like Ralph's Valve would come out and suggested that Modern Warfare 2 was absolutely going to get a proper year two with no new COD coming in 2023. And the problem with that is that you can see now how dangerous and damaging rumors could be, especially in the Call of Duty community. There are many folks out there who 100% believe that we're not getting a new Call of Duty this fall and that Modern Modern Warfare 2 is getting a second year of DLC. Activision never commented, confirmed, or even suggested that Modern Warfare 2 would be getting a second year of DLC while no new premium title would come out in 2023. That was never even teased whatsoever, and I knew in my gut, back during COD Next, almost a year ago now, that when they didn't mention at all that Modern Warfare 2 was a two-year game, it would be very, very unlikely that they say, you know what, we're not going to drop another COD that'll make a billion dollars next year, we're just going to do 12 seasons of Modern Warfare 2 instead. Now, if I had it my way, I would say if the game is handled and managed and updated correctly, we could see two years of support. I think games like Black Ops 3 prove that we can get a proper two, three years of support for a game if enough dev time gets put into it. We know Black Ops 4 originally had that plan. We know Cold War and even Modern Warfare 19 had minor year twos with extra DLC weapons, operators, bundles, a few maps here and there, maybe even some modes. We've seen Call of Duty update even during uh, a period that's out of the core life cycle. We've seen games get updated past year one, but Modern Warfare 2 doesn't seem like it's going to be that game. But yes, there are lots of folks out there who are indeed surprised that we're getting a new COD this fall, and like I said, that just shows you the power of the internet sometimes, and I'm really curious if they're specifically not trying to reveal the game yet until maybe people start realizing, hey, Modern Warfare 2 isn't a two-year game, or are they just pushing it to the last minute so that people kind of be happy with where Modern Warfare 2 is before saying, hey guys, another new COD's coming out this fall for 70 bucks. Now tonight's video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. If you're injured and don't know where to start, you can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without ever having to leave the couch. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. With Morgan & Morgan, there's no need for you to visit law offices and sit through timely consultations. You can submit a claim and have a lawyer review your case with only 8 clicks from your mobile app. Now, Morgan & Morgan is a 21st century law firm which has modernized the injury law process, making it so easy to submit your claim. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records all from your 
your cell phone. You can even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. Submitting an injury claim after a car accident is a no-brainer. You have nothing to lose and a firm like Morgan & Morgan can quickly determine if you even have a case. Don't overthink it though. Take action to protect your rights and Morgan & Morgan will fight to get the compensation that you deserve. But with that being said, check out Morgan & Morgan with the special link down below in this video description or the pinned comment. And thank you to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring tonight's video. I wonder what the strat is as of right now, but something that I pointed out over at Couch Champs the other day is that we usually get some type of reveal or announcement or developer interview about the next Call of Duty during Cod Champs. Maybe because the Modern Warfare 2 competitive season started a bit earlier than usual. Maybe that's why there wasn't anything planned for Cod Champs to talk about Modern Warfare 3 or even a logo reveal, a bit about multiplayer. Maybe that's why they didn't do anything like that. I know there was, I think, a major as of recently in which we did get confirmation from the commentators that, yeah, new Call of Duty was going to be coming out this fall and we'll see another competitive season for the game itself. And as of recently, I also addressed it. Apparently, YouTube Gaming assigned a new deal with CDL until I believe the 2025 season. So that confirms right there we're getting at least two more competitive seasons for Call of Duty multiplayer. And of course, as a reminder, during Summer Games Fest about, what, two weeks ago now, it was confirmed by Jeff Keighley himself that not only is Warzone Mobile coming out this fall, but a new premium entry in the Call of Duty series. So we've gotten confirmation of a new COD quite a few times now, but never anything whatsoever about a uh, second year of DLC for Modern Warfare 2. Now, that's something that I think I would have wanted to see if people out there would have warmed up to the game a lot more, but the fact that the community kind of has this general consensus that that has been playing catch up for the last couple of months, I feel like at this point, it's like, all right, get the game in a good place by season five or season six, get it to a place where everybody out there feels satisfied and fulfilled for the money they spent on the game, and then after that, drop a new COD. But the thing is, if the game would have come out from the get-go, people out there didn't feel like they had to play catch up with updates into Warzone, into multiplayer, or whatever, I would have said, you know what, the game had a lot of momentum pre-release, even at launch, even maybe by season one, so you know what, just do two years of this game, and let Sledgehammer work on something else, or give Treyarch even extra time to work on their next Black Ops game, let's do that. But then it goes down to the point of, what is multiplayer supposed to be inside of Modern Warfare 3, right? That's a big question that we've all had, and it's a question that will be answered likely by the end of the summer, and I think right now we could all speculate that the game might be filled with nothing but remasters. I'd like to think the game will have original multiplayer maps too. I feel like it will, but it's kind of a coin toss at this point, right? Do you market the game as a big collection celebration type Call of Duty experience to celebrate 20 years of the franchise where you have a variety of maps, Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, even some Black Ops games? Do you have this big type of remastered multiplayer experience or do you market it as a new Call of Duty with a brand new campaign, maybe a new Zombies mode, and then a multiplayer featuring maps from the game's campaign, maybe even Las Almas, whatever. I mean, Las Almas is apparently going to be the Warzone 2 map that gets integrated at some point this fall. But then there's also a way where they could just say, hey guys, this is just a game featuring remastered maps, and there's a couple new maps here and there coming out too, but it's meant to be an anniversary type experience. I wonder how they're going to market that. But I think either way, nostalgia sells, and maybe it might be a better idea to market the game as one giant collection of remastered multiplayer maps and not as just a sequel to Modern Warfare 2 featuring new maps and probably a scenario where people out there are like, hey, Modern Warfare 2 had XYZ in the game. Why doesn't Modern Warfare 3 launch with that kind of content with those features, mechanics, modes, or whatever the case is? I'm wondering how they're going to end up handling this. But overall, Modern Warfare 3 seems like a pretty complicated game to market. If anything, it's going to be crazy to see that we're getting back-to-back -back Modern Warfare titles, but on top of that, winning people's trust back. And obviously, there's plenty of controversy already going on inside of the Call of Duty community, which probably won't make any of this better. But just looking at the way Modern Warfare 2 was handled, trying to convince folks that Modern Warfare 3 won't be handled that way, where it comes out and is missing some core things that were in a lot of previous CODs, and also with the promise that we're not going to have to wait multiple seasons to get things that we also had for multiple years in a row that somehow are just missing day one. And then also somehow weaving Treyarch into this if they are indeed working on the zombies mode for this new project. Also confirming that, yeah, we're not going to see a Vanguard scenario again where you see a bunch of miscommunication and this big disconnect between the developers who are working on the game, right? You might have a solid campaign, but a pretty weird and just uninspiring multiplayer without a soul. You might have a zombies mode that feels bare bones like it's in an alpha stage. We don't want to see a Vanguard scenario again. So there's going to be a lot of work work on the marketing side of things to go ahead and promote the game and to ensure that people out there become interested in it. But at the end of the day, it's a bit poetic. The Sledgehammer did develop the original Mono Warfare 3 in 2011. They co-developed it with Infinity Ward, of course, but I would say they co-developed it with a very broken Infinity Ward at the time. So a lot of devs dealt with the lawsuit after Mono Warfare 2 2009. They went ahead and left the studio to go form Respawn, and that's where most of them still are today. So it is poetic that Sledgehammer is doing a Mono Warfare 3, but I think it's a bit concerning that they haven't had that much time to make whatever this is. And it's also 
you know, interesting to think about how if this was just a premium DLC at one point, how do they go ahead and say, all right, this could actually be its own game now. Let's do that instead. Hopefully that means there was just so much content that was going to be a part of the premium DLC that they said, you know what, this would better fit as its own game after all. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on our first look at Modern Warfare 3? Images of two multiplayer maps apparently they're going to be in that game. Also, what are your thoughts on everything else we discussed? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody. Thank you.